So it's come to my attention that there are some cheats and glitches that people don't necessarily know about in the community, so without any further ado, let's start with the PlayStation version. So we'll start off with the PlayStation version, and uh, we'll start off with a very simple one, in that rather than playing through the entire game to get the purple team, if you simply rename your team Mardi Pigs, then you... Any second now. <laughs> you will be given team lard so very quick very simple way of getting the purple team uh, the next one is if you want to view the secret cutscene uh, you simply rename your team to be water pork which is a little bit peculiar I know there are actually two ways of viewing uh, different videos uh, that, are, that are in the game uh, water pork is one of them, as you can see, if I hit yes on the boot camp, it will show me the the main video at the start, and then it will show me the secret cutscene video uh, in between. Uh, so that's that one. The other one is a little bit more obscure, uh, because it's one that I thought, well, I was a bit skeptical on, uh, because I didn't realize it was actually a thing. If you name your team Prying Pigs, another cheat code I guess then you will be able to see every single video in the game except for the secret cutscene video so if you give it a second it will show you the intro sequence intro animation and then you'll get every single other video that you get to see when you complete each island in the single player campaign there's a lot of them. And the end one as well. So those are the video related cheat ones and obviously being able to play as Team Lard. Uh, the interesting one uh, that a lot of people don't seem to know is the Commando Glitch. Uh, so again, if you want to name your team Water Pork, which as we know will display B videos. So have those play, plays those videos, and then it will take you back to the roster screen again. Um, and then we're going to ex exit the <laughs> roster screen. We're going to go to multiplayer. Have that as normal, and you want to create just a, a random game, and you want to set every single pig to paratrooper, or at least every single pig on this first team. You don't have to do it on every single one. Uh, but primarily it needs to be the team that you selected to play as uh, previously in the single player campaign. So leave those two and rather than starting a multiplayer game it'll take you back to these videos which is confusing I know. <laughs> then the game will go back to the main menu. No it won't, it'll go back to the roster screen and there you go. <laughs> you have a team of commandos and if you start uh, this is obviously single player so if I hit no then we start a single player campaign with a team of commandos. It's an easy way of being able to play through the game if you don't want to have to deal with uh, promotion points and that sort of thing. Um, but the last one is the most recent speedrun I did where you were actually able to use generated maps uh, to play through the single player campaign, which I'll show you now. So once again, back at the main menu, you want to do exactly the same thing again. Name your team Waterpork. And then from here, once again, hit yes. Make sure it plays those videos. Or it will freeze on me. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so back to the main menu again. And this time, if you want to hit generate, you can generate whatever map you really want, I think. As far as I'm aware, let's try all snowy. Let's go with some vehicles change the time of day, has some pickups. And I think if you make sure that again the team that you're playing as is the same as the single player team that you selected again, so as you can see I'm Tommy Trotters once again. Uh, I don't really think it matters if you select them as paratroopers or not because it will just give you whatever ranks you choose. So we hit yes on those again then it should take us back to 
after playing the videos again, it should take us back to the roster screen. As you can see, it uh, kept all of the ranks that I had in the multiplayer, gave me a few commandos because I had a few paratroopers, and then if we hit no, then the level it should load will be a generated one. As you can see, certain things will be missing because the game is a bit confused. And as you can see, we have vehicles, we have mines, we have a snowy theme. Uh, but the only difference is that um, when you play through this campaign on generated maps, all of the enemies on the enemy team on every single mission will be grunts. So that is kind of the only downside, but it's handy for speedrunning. Very handy indeed. This is a very flat map, by the way. <laughs> it's not too bad. One last thing to mention for the PlayStation version is that if you go to multiplayer and you go to level selection, if you go to health, you can actually change the health that will be used in single player as well as multiplayer. So if I set this to half health and then start a single player campaign, then all pigs will have half health. And yeah, as you can see, you can just play through the entire campaign with half health, or if you want to set it to double, you can do double health, so the game will be even longer. It all depends on what you want. Uh, but this is also pretty good for speedrunning as well. And finally, if you happen to have the PC version of Hogs of War, then you can use the Naughty Pig cheat, which enables you to get 99 promotion points and not have to worry about, uh, well, playing through the single player campaign. So if you want all heroes, if you want all commandos, go ahead. It's, uh, it's a pretty easy way, but it is only for the PC version. The Naughty Pigs cheat does not work on the PlayStation version. One thing I did mention in this video is the use of wall climbing, which technically is a glitch, but I will be covering that in a separate video all on its own. But if you have any other questions or queries, let me know in the comments. And uh, in the meantime, that's going to wrap it up. So I'll catch you guys later for the next one.